same poll last month. Now he's down by two, so you get a bit of a swing there. Uh, Hillary Clinton is now up by 11 points among women there. Uh, and even though 69% uh, said that they, don't, uh, they weren't affected by the video, 14% um, said it did change their mind. So I think what we're seeing here, again, is a bit of erosion uh, among women uh, and among uh, voters for, uh, of Trump's support. This is a state he needs to win. North Carolina, Ohio, Florida, these are battleground states he needs to win. His path to an electoral college victory is extremely narrow uh, and re it requires winning in a state like North Carolina. So as these controversies pile up uh, and he's losing support within 26 days of the election, uh, that's not a good trajectory you want to be on. Well, we learned that Trump's campaign is relocating out resources from Virginia to North Carolina. What does this tell us about their strategy, Steve, leading up to Election Day? Well, I mean, they're just they're looking at, at, at Virginia, a state where they haven't been very competitive really since the uh, since the conventions, and they're they're suggesting it's probably not worth the investment. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, North Carolina is a must-win state for them. Uh, Hillary Clinton has a lot uh, has many more paths to electoral college victory than Donald Trump does. But for him, he's got to win states like Ohio, North Carolina, Florida. So they're just reallocating resources to a state that he needs to win, North Carolina. Jamel, the Clinton campaign has suggested that an expansion in states like Arizona, Utah, states considered really to be Republican strongholds, that's what the Clinton campaign is trying to move on now. What's their strategy here? Do they have a real chance? No, I think they do have a real chance. Their strategy clearly is to take advantage of the fact that in states like Virginia, uh, in Pennsylvania, increasingly in states like Florida, they are building the kinds of leads that are very difficult to uh, surmount for the opposing campaign this, this close to the election. Um, and they're also trying to expand the map force Trump to defend territory that he shouldn't really need to defend as a Republican candidate. Arizona and Georgia, which is also a state that they've been contesting or have been contesting this year, are states that are on a trend line to becoming swing states. And so I think the Clinton campaign is hoping to accelerate that trend. And in Arizona and Georgia, and in both of them, where there are large numbers in the former of uh, Hispanic voters and the latter African-American voters, there, I think there's a very good chance, should Clinton maintain her seven or eight point leads in national polls, Polling to win those states. We don't have much recent polling from them, so it's difficult to say how close she is to accomplishing that, but it's definitely on the table. In the case of Utah, this is a place where uh, the state's Mormon population, which is very large, it's very hostile to Trump. And it's a place where the sort of other independent candidate in the race, uh, Evan McMullen, is doing a great job of splitting the Republican vote, drawing away from Trump. And so I think the Clinton plan there is not even to try to win the state so much as to further uh, split the vote between her, Trump, McMullen, and Gary Johnson, who's also doing quite well, and create a scenario where either Johnston or McMullen ends up winning that state that's depriving Trump of those electoral votes and forcing him to make them up in other places.